What? No, 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 no. This is not KSI, bro. This is not KSI right now. Down, 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 down. Look, bro. All I know, bro, is Young Blood's album Weird, bro. Crazy, bro. Chocolate? It's my channel, I do whatever I want. Speaking of doing whatever you want, independent artists could do whatever they want. That's the beauty of it. And that leads us to our sponsor today, Artist Republic. <laughs> Excuse me. My name is Joey Nato. I'm an independent artist. Are you an independent artist? I'm gonna assume you said yes. One of the more frustrating things about doing music is finding the right resources for what you need. You need production, you need beats, you need features, you need to distribute the music. But what if I told you you could do that all under one roof, one website? Uh, it does exist. It's called Artist Republic. Man, where do I start? Artist Republic just launched their sound store where you can buy any kind of beat you need. Beautiful thing about this is no matter what budget you got, Artist Republic has the beat for you. You can buy your beats with exclusive rights, you can buy your beats with limited rights if that's just what you need, or you can... You could even buy beats for 99 cents, bro. They're adding 30 plus beats on the website every day. Once your song is made, you have to get it out there, right? You gotta let the people hear it. Well, Artist Republic is literally the least expensive and most effective distributor out there. It only costs $9.99 a year for unlimited uploads for distributing song. Good luck trying to find that price anywhere else. Not gonna happen. And once your song is distributed, now you gotta get it on playlists, right? Well, Artist Republic provides that service too. I actually used it myself. I got me and I'm Dante's song, Don't Get Involved, on a playlist. And it's all thanks to Artist Republic. You don't need to go anywhere else for anything. It's all under one roof. I'll put a link in the description and in the pinned comment so you guys can check out Artist Republic for yourself. Get ready for your career to uh, take a turn for the better. Thank you, Artist Republic, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into it. Don't sleep on how big of a collab this is, yo. Let's just see. Ooh, already got the rock elements there with the kick and cymbal crash together there. Like, this is one of the first KSI songs I've heard that doesn't have a actual drum kit like from a music production software or something like that. You know what I mean? So that's very interesting. A little synths. That's not Youngblood singing. No patience, I had enough. That's Polo G. Wait, 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 wait. This is Polo G singing. Is everyone going to sing on this? Is there even going to be any rapping on this? You would think that Young Blood would be singing like the vocals kind of like this. Sort of. Yep. Okay, this is about to be crazy. This is how we're introducing it. Like, Polo G, I need you on a feature. Yeah, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to sing for you on it. I'm not even going to do my rapping style that I usually do. Ooh, strong electric bass. I feel an like 80s vibes. What? Bro, this is crazy. Those high synths in the background, but th th this is a strong hook, bro. This is one of the stronger hooks I think I've heard from a KSI song. I need a little patience. I don't know what to say. That's a catchy hook. Like, it immediately, it just has that appeal. Why am I feeling like weekend vibes on this? A lot of people are taking that route. Alright, this is Youngblood singing here. And it's interesting. On Youngblood's album, if you listen to it, uh, weird. It's very, you know, it's like got like the traditional rock band playing and backing him in the songs. So it's cool to hear him on something that's... I want, like, there is real drums involved in this production but it's also you know drums from like a software from what i mentioned like that four to the floor beat that you hear throughout most of it that's from a software of some sort but uh, ks i'm really curious to hear how ksi attacks this one it could go in a lot of different directions it's 
there's that strong bass line. Oh no! What? No, 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 no. This is not KSI, bro. This is not KSI right now. It even gave you like a second because they wanted you to guess. They were like, "But well, is KSI going to rap on this? Is he going to sing like everybody else on this? What, 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 what's it going to be? What, what, what road is it going to take? It gave you like a three second break with the instrumental. KSI, I believe you're singing right now. The breathiness in the voice and everything. Yo, how many takes did it take you, bro? How many takes did it take you to get this, like, perfect? Because this sounds like... Damn near, like, like in, in terms of a technically sound recording take, those sound damn near perfect, bro. A lot of delays, a lot of reverb on the singing voices, but I love that they, they did that for everybody. It's true, having delays and echoes and reverb on your voice can make... Someone who can't really sing sound like they're a better singer, but they got it on Polo G's voice. They got it on Youngblood's voice. They got it on KSI. And KSI is hanging with these dudes right now. Ooh, that's a good. That had everything in it. Okay, my guy. KSI, I need you to harmonize a young blood under. Like, patience. Like, right under the thing? He didn't do that, but it would have been dope. I don't know. Woo! Isn't his voice crazy, young blood, man? This is. This is, like, really, really, really good. I reacted to Justin Bieber's song on my stream yesterday. It's called Hold On. It kind of has an 80s vibe to it, too. They're kind of neck and neck, bro. I, if I had to choose which one I would want to listen to more on a given day, right now they're kind of neck and neck. I'm not just saying that. Like This this has so many different like flavors of voices. It's all consistent. And that hook is just crazy. I don't... Yo, this is just really good. Really strong bass line, too. I wonder who played the, played the bass on this. And the thing, the thing about Youngblood's voice, too, uh, for those that aren't familiar, is he, he could turn it on and off, whether he wants to sing a song with the UK accent or if he just wants to sound American. He can, like, go back and forth and switch between the two, which is crazy. It's dope. This needs radio play. This one's got to hit radio, bro. Okay, okay, it's A little drier vocals here. Alright. We didn't get another verse from KSI, but we got a little bridge. Uh, I thought there was a harmony going on right there, like I was saying before, but I think they just did like a little pitch effect down on the. <laughs> this one is fire. that at the end i don't know who that is at the end yo you have these three dudes on a song you would not think that they would make this type of song with this like pop type of style young blood yeah ksi i guess i guess his singles are more pop oriented it's like his songs where he has the um garage right garage that type of style that's like almost like was catering more to the UK crowd. And this one is more like, okay, America, this is what I got for you. You know what I mean? Like this, oh man, this one's fire. I gotta call somebody. This is, this is crazy. 
I appreciate you guys watching. Here's a snippet of my own song. Appreciate you. Adam. You so quick to say that I change, but I just go. I know you wanted me to stay the same, but I always knew that I had to grow oh, oh, all of my own. Oh, oh. But I'm on my own, my own. And it's RIP. Not to my own, own self. Found a chick better than my habits. Got her back down.